So first off, let's start with the most, arguably one of the most important things in your meals, protein sources. I'm going with chicken breasts, uh, just Tesco's own. Everything here was bought from Tesco. I like to just get it all in one place so it's done, it's dusted, and I can bulk cook it all, put it in Tupperware, and I'm good to go, good to go for the week then. So chicken breast is one of the leanest protein sources out there that you can get. Uh, let's have a quick look. So per 100 grams, we've got 24 grams of protein, 1.1 gram of fat, and nothing else essentially. So yeah, that's going to be my main protein source for the week. And of course, there's protein in some of the other things, like for example, the Greek yogurt that I've got. But nowhere near as much or as high quantity as the chicken. But with this, we've got some low fat, or zero fat, should I say, fat-free natural yogurt. And the macros for this are, fat is 0 0.1 grams per 100 grams, uh, carbohydrate 7.5, and protein 5.03. So that's a good, nice little low-fat option. You can have that with uh, some fruit in the morning, you can have it with some protein, you can have that with your oats and everything. It's pretty versatile. It's a good little, um, little fill of food. I quite like it. Next, got some oats. You don't need to splash out on those of expensive oats, you don't need to get the Quaker brand. Some cheap oats will do, it'll last you a lot longer as well. You can fill it with all kinds of, uh, of your own treats if you get your, say your fruits, if you get your, I like to use golden syrup protein, pop that in with probably about 70 grams of oats. A bit of water and you're good to go. Makes a nice, delicious, healthy breakfast. So per 100 grams, we've got 60 grams of carbohydrates, 8 grams of fat, and 11 grams of protein. So that's chock full of nutrients for that. Uh, fibre as well, 8.5 grams of fibre in that as well. So that helps boost your fibre up, which is important for digestion and making you feel full. And keeping you nice and healthy. Next, let's talk about some rice cakes. I've got some barbecue flavoured rice cakes. Again, Tesco's own brand. These were only a pound for, I think you get 10, 12, something like that. These are a great little uh, snacking option. They're very low calorie, quite high in carb, and not a lot else. So like each rice cake contains 9.3 grams of carbs, uh, 0.7 fat, and 0.8 protein. So it's a good solid carb source there. I'll put that with some like light Philadelphia spread, you can put some uh, chives on it as well, you can put like some uh, peppers, tomatoes, get creative with it, why not? Find the food that works for you. So next, just got some tomatoes on the vine here, this is all going to go into part of my big salad bowls that I'm going to do with chicken. Um, Ideally, you want lots of volume with your food if you are cutting as well. So that way you're going to feel fuller for longer. You don't have to worry about uh, having too many carbs or too many, too many fats in one meal. It's going to just fill you up the rest of the day. Uh, so I've got some jalapenos to add to that. Got a couple of tins of sweet corn. These are only 35 pence per can. So they're dirt cheap. Got two of them. Uh, got some... Broccoli, again this is only like 39p for a head of it. Uh, we lost the rice cakes then. I'm um, going to throw in some peppers with that as well. Got some nice mix of colours, just to uh, make it look good. Nice rainbow salad. Ooh. And a cucumber. You all know what a cucumber is. 
easy peasy. So that's all going to go in my salad bowls, uh, nothing too crazy. And then for my carb sauces to have with my chicken, which I'll probably marinate in some, in some like Nando sauce, maybe some herbs and spices, nothing too crazy. And I've got some Charlotte potatoes. These are so easy to cook. Just pop as many as you can in the pan, wait for them to boil. Job done. Probably about 20 minutes, uh, 25. And then per 100 grams of this, this is 14.9 grams of carbs. Uh, 1.8 protein and 0.1 fat. So yeah, with 100 grams, you're gonna get a lot more volume in this than you would say 100 grams of rice. So again, this is gonna make you feel fuller for longer. It's pretty good. Next, got some more stuff for snacking, so I can have probably with my oats in the morning, probably some yogurt. Got some garlic apples. Again, these are on offer. These are like 75p. Nothing too crazy, uh, so per apple, roughly, around 15 grams of carbs. So yeah, that's another little carb source for you. Lots of volume in there, but pretty much no calories whatsoever. And some bananas, 80 pence. Gonna wait for these to go ripe. Then what I'll probably do, put them in a Ziploc bag, peel them up, chop them up, and then freeze them so you can have that with Say smoothie, they'll last for a lot longer. You just get them out as and when you need them, leave them to defrost overnight, have them with your yogurt. And that is pretty much everything for today. All this should last me the week, ideally. I've got a few green teas in as well. Um, that's pretty much everything, yeah. All of this only came to 26.38. So for a week's worth of food, Pretty good going. Oh, with the chicken though, I, got, I did get three bags, three packs of this, I didn't just get the one pack. That wouldn't last, that probably last two days, it's flat. But yeah, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, favourite, follow us on Facebook, all these social media shares. Catch you in the next video.